Stank ass walk and a reckless ass mouth. When we mop the seeds out. What's up? What I want. I wish I would. Yeah, fucking him right past the meat. A to the meat. Just like that. Shake that shit. Work it, bitch. Mm, mm, just like that. Shake that shit. Work it, bitch. Speaking in your brain. Shake what you got to do, girl. Egg, Leah, Leah, Egg, 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 that Egg, 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 on Snapchat Egg, 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 Pop that cat, just like that. Shake this shit, rip it, bitch. Ooh. I lose the world. You're right. Oh. Aren't they go? I get jelly. <laughs> Just like that, shake this shit, work it, bitch. Pop that cat. Just like that, shake this shit, work it, bitch. Pop that cat. Just like that, shake this shit, work it, bitch. Pop that cat. Just like that. Shake this shit. Work it, bitch. So, you know I had to play that song by Megan. I love Megan, okay? Okay. Um, hope you guys are doing good. Queen Rena here, High Priestess, Ascended Master number 11, 144. Okay. So, I wanted to come on here and help uh, some of you guys out with... Um, your your spiritual ascension your growth so we got a lot of people out there they there are a lot of different type of ascensions and spiritual growth you know you can always people can always have a spiritual growth it don't matter who they are um it can be uh, high vibration medium vibration low vibration whatever people can always move up okay but there are a group of people who are more so on a natural high level these are natural high vibrating people um also depending on who you are as a low vibe and what has happened in you know past lives in the past it depends on exactly what what and who you are where you actually supposed to be because some people who fell to the lower realm were kind of tricked into doing so they don't really belong there so that is a special specialized case there but um most people who were on the high vibration and who were sent from like who who call themselves the star seeds the light workers the 144 um the god the one you know 144 whatever um these people they go through uh spiritual ascensions they go through growths that propel them upward into uh who they were already are who are they supposed to be um a stronger better version that, than they were in the past not only with past in this life but also in the past in ancient times as well so you will be stronger and better than you were in the past and also past ancient times kind of like um in the bible ancient text you will see 
where Jesus Christ, he could do amazing things at first. And then after, you know, he had his uh, death and rebirth, he rose with all power and he was able to do a lot more things. Um, so he was more stronger, more powerful, um, and he did not take any crap. So he was a balance. He was more of a balanced, higher being who only stood for high vibration. And so this is what is, these are some of the things that is happening now with people that they are experiencing. And so this is why I want to come on here and make this video when people have these these spiritual awakenings or these spiritual deaths and rebirths and things like that. Um, or these spiritual growth. So it just depends on who you are as a person, what you go through, uh, what you are meant to do in this life, um, depending on your ascension and your growth. Um, you don't have to ha necessarily have a, a death, rebirth type of thing. You could have just a, a growth type of um, a type of uh, life or whatever for for this life so it just depends on who, on who you are but the higher beings the one especially the 144 you're going to have a spiritual rebirth uh kind of like what jesus christ has said except you're not going to physically die because uh god most high is doing a new thing to where you will have a spiritual death and rebirth it's the same thing that uh what jesus christ christ went um did or whatever your whole so pretty much your whole life is preparing you for this spiritual rebirth and all that um that's why your life may have been a lot harder than other people you went through certain things that other people did not have to go through you were uh god had to put you through tests uh that other people did not have to go through here um and you other people could probably maybe do things that you could not do and they could get away with it and you could not get away with it is because you are of a high you are of like higher vibration and people who are naturally of high vibration you are held to a higher standard than people with lower consciousness or more of a, a natural human than than what you are okay and so this is why you went through the things that you went through and you're born into the families that you were born into um and this is why there's a certain plan for each of our lives to help us to wake us up. Some people call it wake up. Some people call it a spiritual rebirth or, wake, or awakening or whatever, spiritual awakening. Um, it's, the same, it's the same thing. It is a death and rebirth process and you're going to do it in the physical body. You don't have to die just like uh, Jesus Christ did and then be born again and all of that. But you will, uh, your old self will die and be renewed and reborn it will be renewed and reborn different of course but it's really what's really happening is a lot of the things that's been happening in the past hundred thousands of years is you have not really been yourself you've been part of yourself you've been going through a spiritual process a learning process kind of like a school to become better become more of who you are and become stronger than you were in ancient times um in the higher realms and so you're going to be now stronger and better than you were that's the whole point that's why jesus christ you know had his little rebirth spiritual death and rebirth and all that as well and now he's stronger more powerful better and everything and it's the same thing that is what is going to and what has occurred and happened to you so if you um like i said there's some people who uh, have these growths they have a growth or whatever and they just get better and better these are people who are still in this spiritual process or school um they might not necessarily uh, be on a higher pace as you are but they're still growing and they're still learning and they're still getting better and they're still going to get um, good opportunities abundance love peace all that they're just people on a who, who call themselves star seeds light workers um 144 um you were actually sent down here from the higher realms to go same thing like uh, is jesus christ to go through this um craziness that of life or whatever more harsher for most of you guys um and like i said god gives the hardest test and the best test to the to the best and in the strongest warriors or whatever okay so god brought us you know we were on this mission or whatever to help raise people's consciousness raise the world up because the world um people were 
Right, as you can see right now, what's been happening, um, especially with all this craziness that's, that's going on, people was stuck in low vibration and some of them, the, the, the wool, the veil was over their eyes, they could not see, so they didn't realize that they were all, all in this karma, they was all in, in pretty much in hell. They knew it, but it, it was since the veil was over their eyes, they couldn't see and they couldn't experience it and know a hundred percent like like they are like people are seeing and the, all this stuff is um being revealed and so now people are understanding that they have been in a low vibration and that people have to rise and uh pretty much ascend ascend the world has to ascend and people have to ascend and that's what we are here to help um help them and but we gotta first do it ourselves and then we can help others. We can help the world do it as well. And so just like Jesus Christ would say, we will be with them and we help you, we'll help you and all that type of stuff. It's the same thing, but we do it. We go through this spiritual birth and re, um, death and rebirth. And then we can help and we can show the way and lead people out of the darkness into the light pretty much because we have to be a light uh, into the world we have to be a light to people we got to be a light to ourselves okay and light to those around us and so this is what has been happening um and i listened to this one person today they were like um so they said something about the uh the twin or the, well, the divine unions or twins or whatever they are they, they said something about they are not the 144 okay so but this is i could listen to this person i can tell that they were more on a human level on a human level so um i'm like okay you're on more on a human level you can't really tell somebody who they are that's why you have to one people have to be careful out there is people will try to tell you who you are they'll try to tell you what to do tell you how to be how to whatever how to look how to whatever and you that's why you have to know who you are and that's why it's there's an old saying here that says know thyself you have to know who you are don't let people tell you what to do how to be who you are how to look um what to say with all that type of stuff try to control you to be in on their lower human level when you are a higher being and you know how you are on the higher on the higher levels and you know what you have been sent here and you have been created to do um and you know what you were created and what you have uh told pretty much told or because some of you guys are leaders out there uh and you have orchestrated a lot of this stuff like me um i I'm the one who I'm a Pisces son and also I'm a Pisces um uh North Node so I'm a real I'm an actual real Pisces and I'm also a master number 11 and I'm the one who orchestrated and told the uh higher beings to help with this mission so that might be the light you might call yourself a light worker star season whatever and then um I'm the one who told God to create many different versions of myself, which are the 144, okay? And then I think one thing that uh, the person has said is, uh, she said that they are archangels, okay? So we're not archangels. We, I mean, if unless you wanna say archangels are gods, because you've got angels and archangels, whatever, once you, unless you wanna say that, we are more so the God heads. We are, that's why we have to vibrate high. That's why um, God has to be more harder on us because our vibration is naturally high, connected to the most high. As long as as long as we're in a physical form, a physical vessel, um, we're like God's children. Uh, but we're also more of like the Godheads. We we still can make mistakes and and things like that because we are still in a, a phys physical physicality, and we you know we having these human experiences and all that. Um, so, but we are more of high vibration means meaning that we more are connected to the most high and we, you know, we just try to do the best. We don't try to act the fool like lower, lower realm beings do and that some of them, they, they, um, they, some of them can maybe do it a little bit. You know, they, they get punished. Sometimes they ignore it or, or don't even see it or their veil is over their eyes. But like I said, the veil is being lifted and now people can't really hide from their karma because people have been hiding from karma people been thinking oh i haven't got any karma but really they have been getting karma i just the veil has been over their eyes and they've just been getting karma and not really thinking of, they've been feeling it but not really feeling it to the full extent but now people are going to be getting getting those um those ass whippings and they're going to be feeling it to the full extent and they're not going to be able to hide like they were in the past or try to drink it out or whatever. People are going to be able to feel it mentally, physically and spiritually. Okay. And so that's why we have to help 
ourselves and we have to help the world and help people because now people are going to be feeling all this and people are not going to be able to hide just like we can't hide and you know god um makes us do what we have to do we we especially how our brain beings we especially uh have to do what we're supposed to do or you know not too good or whatever but um like we still live life have fun and all that we just have to put ourselves on a more or a higher status we just can't be acting all a fool and stuff like that other people can't do it either but you know god really gets on us and so um that's why this is one re this is the reasons why we went through certain things and we had to get to a certain level so we can become uh who we are um as a, a person better than we were in ancient times um and stronger of course and um and, and it also like i said uh has to play into things that were being hidden in, in you know hundreds and thousands of years things that were being hidden so we have we have to be more of a a lower consciousness or, or half yourself or whatever in order to hide hide in the groups or the masses of the, of the humans because um you know if you are if you have any signs of of higher beings or whatever sometimes there are lower low vibrating beings out there who are evil and they want to stop um just like now they want to stop high vibrating beings and good people from helping out the world helping out the masses of people and that's this is what has been happening that's why some people call uh these people karmics or low vibrating beings or whatever um and that's another note that i wanted to make is uh because I noticed that one person had said something about uh, something about karma or yeah, something about how they could try to get free from low vibration, get free from the devil or whatever if they sold their soul. Um, you can always raise up in vibration and raise up. You know, that's why we got, you know, Jesus Christ and just working on yourself and just being a better person and all that type of stuff. We got, you know, ancient texts, the Bible and all that to help you out with that. But if you are from the lower realm, like the devil realm, and you have been put down there because of, you know, being not good or whatever. There is really only one way to come out of that. And that is to make sure that the divine feminine and good people, particularly the divine feminine, is good and uh, protected and make sure that they are able to um do what they're supposed to do so pretty much writing writing the wrongs of the world writing the wrongs of karma that's what they have to do in order to be um freed from the lower realms that that is pretty much the only way that they can come out the hell realms because that was the agreement so i don't know what that person was saying they could have said something to that effect or that extent but um because they didn't really say it what it was that they had figured out or something to uh be free from the devil's traps or whatever but like i'm i got a scenario that god had gave me about the titanic if someone is on the, if everybody was on the titanic um we got people who had money or status you had people who was middle class you had people that was poor whatever but they're all, all on the same boat. So how is somebody all on the same boat going to be like, oh, I'm, I can free you people who are you know, poor or help you out who's poor or who's going through things or who's middle class or whatever. I can help you, but you're all on the same boat. It would have to be somebody who's actually on the dry land or on the place that you want to be to help you out. You know, somebody who's from the higher realms, who is pretty much the leader of the higher realms, who be like, okay, I can come and get you and bring you here but let's see you're doing the wrong things this is why you were here um and then you, you know you went against righteousness and love and divine feminines and all that and so if you want to be in the higher realms then you have to um clear the mistakes that you made and the world is making with the divine feminines and good people and then take care of your um you know do the ten commandments or whatever and you know help people and make sure the divine feminines are good and whatever so particularly as good people and especially the divine feminine so that what that was the deal but you also have to make sure that you're good too so you have to um that's why you got the ten commandments and all this type of stuff and so that will help help you to more likely um 
depending on you and what you do or whatever, um, be able to rise up out of that. And so that is, so that will help you get that. Because those people, the people that we offer that to was people who already had light inside. So some of them had small light, some of them have medium sized light, some of them have a good side light. At, and they're in the lower realm somehow they got got there for different reasons whether they knew it or not but that was the reason why you were oper uh, offered this opportunity because you have light inside you're really supposed to be one of us and um you are you're really one of us pretty much um and so but somehow you got into stuck into the devil's realm or the lower realm uh sometimes tricked or sometimes people try to get you to um like or they would, they would trick you or they were trying to they would do put you in positions to to pull you down there or whatever or just just being evil or whatever or you just kind of fail whatever but uh whatever the case is you have light you belong to the higher realms you belong to us and this is why you were giving these opportunities and, and this chance because you you have light inside and you still have light okay and some of you guys, I want some of you guys to think that you have small lights. Some of you, you guys have small lights, medium lights, large size lights. And it don't matter what size light. As long as you have light, you belong with us. You belong in the higher, the higher realm. So this is why you were given a chance. And that is how you get out. And that's for people who somehow fell to the lower devil realm and stuck down there with them. Okay. Um, so that's for them. But the rest of you guys um, who are normal humans who are um you know medium vibes low uh high vibes medium vibes low vibes or whatever you you really you just just stuck in the human world or whatever um you you rise up of course by being good people and just following the golden rule and not being all evil and crazy and all that and you know doing whatever customs you know if you have your bible you believe in jesus christ or yeshua or you know you have whatever customs you have you know you rise up that way and i would like i said i met, i had said before that i would have to make a video on um a good custom that we do because you know like i said this is like our earth school and there are certain customs and spiritualities that help us in this earth school to help you rise up and be who you are as a person and because you know now we're in the physical uh these physical bodies um you might can do little spiritual things like you know some of you guys are prophets or, or psychics or whatever you want to call them um just you know you can do little things like that because you because these are more physical uh denser bodies so you can only do uh things that are on a, on a lower realm just like the bible you know said that that you could do but you know jesus christ in there let you know that you're supposed to be doing greater works than he and that's on a higher on the higher realms when we're not as physical we're in different bodies and uh more spiritual bodies more spiritual based bodies um and you know spirituality is first you can do more works just like christ was trying to let you know and was showing you and so this is one of the reasons why we're trying to raise our raise our vibration get your vibration high um high vibration people you you are able to do these things especially on the higher realms and on these lower realms you can still do you know spiritual things you have int intuition and things like that so you can still do those things when you're on a more higher vibration and you can help yourself out help others out and things like that okay and so you know I wanted to make those two clarifications there because um, I know that people um, sometimes they might not always understand what is going on spiritually, but they you know try, which is really good. Um, and so I want to make those clarifications that the 144 are the twins and they are God heads. They're I mean you, you want to call them archangels, or whatever you know. Uh, but angels, they really protect, they really work for us and they pr protect us as human beings and people or whatever they help. Um, okay. So, but you know, also angels are, uh, there's different level levels of angels. If you, if you know, the Bible and read different things or different levels of angels and things like that, but we're more so the Godheads. So if you want to say archangels are Godheads, then okay um but angels pr protect us 
and they protect people and they help people and things like that. Um, but the 144 is really the God hits and they're the twins. Um, that's why God is more our, the higher uh, ominent, omniscient God uh, source all is the is when we're not in the physical form and we put all the humanness and physical body we put that all aside and we go back to being our real form and a real consciousness um, that is that is what we connect to and so there's a certain uh, religion that helps you understand that more which you know is all over the world that, pe that people know um, but then you also have um, spirituality religious that teach you about higher realms or whatever but really it's really about you on the higher realm so I would have to make another video about concerning that um, to help people help you help people out because people are always complaining over or arguing over different customs religions and all that type of stuff um, but you would have to know who you are as a person and what's going on and even be on that level. It depends. It also depends on who you are and what level you really are in order to see exactly where you're supposed to be or what even what helps you raise up or what and also your mind frame and consciousness to know uh, how you can expand as much as possible as well because there's some customs that only that cap you and put you only at a certain level and, and people don't know that okay and so but i don't know i have to make another another video concerning religions and customs and all that because i don't want to get into that because i know sometimes people get all antsy in the pants when it when it comes to that okay so i just wanted to maybe put that out there for people to um you know think about uh there okay but uh, more so, I wanted to get on this this spiritual awakening, uh, like because people may have these spiritual awakenings and they want they want answers or what 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 is going on, um, what is really happening. They're trying to figure it out because these things just getting acclimated after you wake up, just getting acclimated to what's going on, what what is happening, what happened or whatever, just like Christ or whatever, Jesus Christ, you know, he, he rose and, you know, you know, had all his power and just was more spiritually inclined with his powers and everything. Um, that is the same thing that what goes on with um, the 144, you know, high vibration beings um, is if you, because like I said, God now instead of dying and getting another body, we can now God is doing a new thing to where you die in the same body here because God is all powerful. God could do that, but you're reborn a new, just like just like the Bible said, you're reborn a new, um, better, okay, better and stronger. And so one thing that uh, you'll notice that is that on the second return that Jesus Christ is going to be different, more, you know, not only more powerful, but um, destroying evil. So pretty much taking no crap from, from uh, low vibration or taking no crap from evil. So this is the same thing that's what's going to be happening or what has happened with you guys when you have the spiritual awakenings is you literally die, but you're going to be the same body here. Um, and then you're going to be reborn. You're reborn. Um in the same body it's so it's still you so what god did was um you you know had this crazy life or hard times or whatever people was treating you bad and not treating you right um and you know that energy is neither neither created nor destroyed so um god had to do something with all that energy you know you good person or whatever or trying to help or trying to be a good person or whatever and then you was treated like crap or people was evil to you so god has to god had to take all that energy and um do something with that energy so god made it a um god made it a protection shield around you and that's for the feminines out there and then the masculines um they energy set up differently i will have to talk more about that uh later um because masculine energy is set up differently. They're not just their bodies, but their energy field is set up much differently as well. Um, and also when you come into physical human form, um, the since their energy is set up a certain way, sometimes they don't know that what sometimes they don't know that 
some of the things that they do wrong get them in trouble. They feel like they can do whatever they want without getting in trouble. And that's it's kind of like a, the devil's trap. And so that's why divine feminines, you have to protect your masculine, especially when you're in a divine union, from him just being love vibration and acting up because his the way his body is uh, set up and his energy to feel to set up it feels like he can do those little vibration things but really if you pass away or when he passes away or get too high time to transition to a higher bodies and stuff higher realms then he'll be like oh i now remember i really couldn't be acting the acting a fool or doing those crazy things and then if the devil got him caught up in low vibration and craziness then the devil can pull them down that's why a lot of masses they have a lot of bad karma um and they don't even know it they think they can do all this crazy evilness or crazy things and because their body energy is built in a certain way to make them feel like it's okay um and it's like i don't know it's like a trick or trap or whatever that's why you'll see a lot of our higher beings divine feminists we like to be in our feminine bodies because our bodies is let us feel and know that hey it's not okay to be crazy do these crazy things we have to be um we have to do the right things pretty much it's more easier for us to do the right things and it is a masculine because of how our body not only our bodies but our also our energy inside the energy is very important and it and it helps us and that's why we see divine feminines more so doing the right things more than the divine mat than the masculines okay so you have to be stern with these masculines out here to help them because they protect us or help us physically we do that if we do that for them spiritually or you're you're supposed to or whatever okay okay let these masculines be putting up uh, putting up with all type of bull crap because uh, then later on, once they, it's time to transition to a new body, then they'll, uh, if they've been in low vibration, then they'll remember afterward, but oops, and then they'll find out they have all this karma, then they'll be stuck in low vibration, and then it'll be bad for them. Okay, so you have to protect them uh, spiritually so they can rise as well, because Divine Feminine, you help your masculine rise um, spiritually. Okay, and then, you know, they help on the physical realm with the the physical rise uh and the protection and all that and we just keep doing that as we move up and up and up and up okay okay and so that's that that's, not a, that's just a little side note for you guys because i know some of you guys y'all need help out, out there with that okay so you know you have this death and this re rebirth and it's a physical real it's an actual real death uh spiritual death whatever and then you rebirth and so now you have to um get acclimated in, in over time and time with your new self and help yourself out and help the world out and so this is what is being happening out here in these streets and what's happening with you uh divine feminine and divine masculine but you got to go through the process first you can't rush anything before time you can't wake up before time or whatever because then it'd be very bad okay or you can't rush somebody you have to let people go through their own process and that's just for higher beings and also for regular humans you have to let people go through their own process and growth you know and don't enable people you have you know help people but don't enable them um and also put keep god first and uh, make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing as well okay okay so peace and love to you guys Mwah.